Hi everyone, this is the introduction video for our EM simulation software Empire XPU. We will give a quick look at our latest Empire release using version 8 and its all new graphical user interface. Goal of this video will be a quick overview over this new interface and what a possible workflow for a common EM simulation with Empire could look like. In this new project page of the setup wizard, you have direct access to the manuals like the getting started or the full manual. Otherwise, you can start a new and empty project with some basic settings from this page. On the next step, you can open existing projects or one of the recently used ones with a preview of the latest status. The next page shows some examples with already calculated results to get some ideas and starting points for your own projects. The templates in the next tab may be a good starting point for your project as well. And we will go back to this in a moment. Finally, there are a couple of guided tutorials to find a good introduction into basic and more advanced topics some of which will be addressed in future videos. We will now start this introduction with a patch array antenna template. For each template you have some options that you can configure right in this page. But we will keep the defaults for now and just press OK. Here you can see the initial model of this template and the main navigation bar are the tabs on top. Usually you start by designing your model either in the 2D design view, which is ideally suited for models that are mostly planar or layered like this antenna model. Alternatively, you can switch to the 3D design view on your model, which is good for models that are inherently complex 3D structures. Both views offer the same options and can be used interchangeably. On the left side, there is a navigation bar to review and edit your model data. The model materials and objects are organized in groups. And everything can be edited, moved or changed using this navigation directly. You can double click on entries to edit its properties or use a separate dialog like this one. An important feature are the context menus that allow context-dependent actions for the objects and its data. The navigation tree supports drag and drop. For example, you can select some objects and move or copy them between groups. All these actions can be undone and the navigation tree will update accordingly. You can get information about the current mesh, the field monitors that store the field data, or the variables. Variables are very useful to have parameterized objects and settings to allow for parameter sweeps or optimizations. The next important um, GUI element is the toolbar, showing a context-dependent set of available buttons to perform actions like creating new objects or transforming ex existing objects. Once your model is designed, you check the simulation settings and make sure that all the necessary electromagnetic, mesh and boundary options are set correctly. Then you can start a complete EM simulation using the Start Simulation button. First we need to save the new project and then start the simulation, which will take us to the next main page, the Simulation tab. Here we can observe the pre-processing steps of the simulation, which for Empire means that a specialized FDTD engine kernel is created and compiled to run your simulation. This is one of Empire's main advantages. It does not come with a pre-built engine, but once you hit the simulation button and specialized engine just for the model at hand, for your CPU, for your memory and more is created and run to achieve the fastest possible simulation speed. The simulation runs only for a few seconds here on my somewhat older laptop and we can observe how the model converges quickly. 
In this tab we would be able to quickly set up parameter sweeps and run them or an optimization. But we will go into more detail for these topics in a future video. In the next main page, the circuit tab, you can create and evaluate your schematics including the just created EM results. Click the plus button to create a new schematic, give it a fitting name and start to create your circuit and for example combine your circuit with the just created EM results. We will show more details on how to use this new functionality in a future video. The next two tabs, the 2D results and the 3D results, are used to evaluate your acquired data. On this page you can evaluate your data as curves, like the scattering parameters of the simulated patch antenna array. Using the plus sign you can add as many additional plots as you need, and arrange them in a tiled view. You can select curves and hide them or show them again. Use filters and many more. This result panel can handle thousands of curves and results to easily analyze even complex optimizations and parameter sweeps. In the final page you can get a nicely rendered 3D view of your structure with the additional capability to render for example your near fields. Start an animation and display the 3D farfield pattern. Again, context menus are available by directly clicking, right clicking on an object allowing to change some properties, like for example the color map or the scale of the object or in this case the polarization. You can place markers and interactively move them around. Or open the general settings for this field monitor. Or you can just export your animation as a movie file to share it with colleagues. Well, that's it for this quick introduction. If you have comments or feedback, questions or need help, please contact us. Thanks for watching.